Coconuts fried sweet potatoes for snacks. So welcome back to Farmer Canada YouTube Live and today let's fry sweet potatoes. So join Farmer Canada guys. So we have to switch on the fire. So that's how we fry sweet potatoes. This is how we fry sweet potatoes. I mean, so just like that maybe. Yeah, so I have the sugar there, guys. Yeah, so this is how I fried sweet potatoes. Wait, huh? So this is the sugar here, and the oil, and the lard. So that's what we're gonna cook for today sweet fried sweet potatoes for our um, snacks for today. Give me a second here. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you. So that's how fried sweet potatoes. Bring up our uh, what do you call this? Our pot or wok. Let's give you a little bit of. Can you see that outside? There's an icicle in there. Yeah. Jovi Adventures, thank you so much. Wow, very healthy snacks, I don't. Yeah, not kind of because we are going to fry it. So look at that icicle. It's long. Icicle, we call that icicle or ice crystals or ice. Can you see that? So it is still, uh, what do you call it? It's snowing outside a little bit, but it's, uh, um, it's, the, the, the snow are melting so that's how it looks like outside so let's go back see because of the sun or the weather is kind of warm even negative four guys it's still warm outside because of the sunshine even it is cloudy so spring is like that even though that it is snowing the what you call this it uh, the weather is warm unlike during the winter if it is cold uh, snowing so it means it's really cold and it's not melting so let's go back to our cooking yeah so that's how it is so first we have to put some of this oil just a little bit of oil guys yeah Wait, uh, this is the sugar we do the sugar later but I have two types so thank you everyone yeah thank you thank you then i have the lard here since i have lots of lard i do that and i do the frying mm -hmm. so mm. uh star margarine is still the best but you know lard is lard Ooh. make it some knife in here so thank you everyone so join us on the post yeah Joby and pictures thank you so much thank you um eight amazing people share and subscribe from her canada youtube channel so this is how i make my or i fried my sweet potatoes guys oh that's too loud let me see in my monitor in here yeah, so put it aside first. Yeah, so I use the Crisco oil or what you call that. So I don't use lots of oil for frying my what you call this frying my sweet potatoes. Can you see that? Wait, huh? Wait, huh? Let me see. Thank you so much, Idol. You're welcome and thank you. Just drop your link so that people can go and uh, visit your channel. And yeah, thank you everyone, guys. Salamat. And thank you everyone for tuning in. Uh, for amazing people. Thank you so much, wherever you are. Make a little shout out and good morning. Oh, I need to strain this first. Yes, uh, I just cleaning the water here for our drinking water. 
so that I can put aside <coughs> hold on ha so that I can clean up our sink in here So I take some, I some part of it. Wait, huh? I make an accident in here. You know, I don't like the house that is dirty. So we need to clean up and yeah. So I have the sweet potatoes here. Uh, when you fry sweet potatoes, it's too much, guys. <coughs> so we have to remove some of our oil. Okay. Just a little bit only because, see? Uh huh. Whoops. Okay, so we all we have to do is to dry the sweet potatoes and fry like that. Uh huh. Fry it with a little oil uh, because if it is not. Uh, snowing and cold outside I can fry this outside with a deep oil to make a sweet potato uh, what do you call that cube uh, or uh, sweet potatoes uh, dessert but I use a way of frying this is how I fry sweet potatoes I mean, eat this for breakfast guys yeah mostly some people they use that for or uh, eat that for breakfast so that's how it is. So 10 amazing people, thank you so much wherever you are. We got a shout out and thank you so much. Please to consider to subscribe Farm Girl Canada YouTube channel. Thank you everyone. Imelda and Gram CC, five, six thumbs love. Thank you so much, CC Imelda. Good morning everyone from Jubilee Adventure. We got a shout out to you from Imelda. Mr. TV, Monk Farm. Hello CC, Mr. TV. Jovis Adventure, thank you so much, Idol. So, guys, please connect to each other. Just uh, use your power to go to go to channel. Yeah, so that's how I fry the potatoes, guys. Supposed to be, I have to slice this very thin as this one. But some of my cutting is a little bit of thick. So, it's supposed to be this is it. But the thicker one is okay when you make a caramelized sugar later to uh, cook your sweet potatoes so just fried oh that's too much fire so with a medium high uh, fire only so this is not um so i use some part of uh lard and oh you can use butter but butter doesn't want to the butter that the texture of the butter later is not that crunchy so i use lard uh crisco this is it guys Okay. Yeah. So this is it. Or you can use the um, what do you call that? Uh? The other one, Crisco and something like flakes. Uh, the yellow color. Anyway, anyway, that's uh, the good thing uh, all the time for pie to make a dough. So that's what I'm using, Crisco. Or the flakes. What is that? Uh? something like uh, just a flakes in that yellow color cover so that's how i make our fried sweet potatoes usually we i fry this pan for breakfast i just uh, put some uh, white sugar on top and eat it um or brown sugar but today i will do the some and i will make a caramelized later so i use uh, sugar uh, white sugar and brown sugar Thank you, everyone. <coughs> Mercury, he actually hello, farm girls. Sir Mercury, Mercury, uh, hello. I will give you moderator. Uh, guys, please connect to uh, Mercury, he Aqual. He's all the way from USA. I think Michigan, and he's very supportive friend. And uh, he married with Filipina too, and very go. Uh, they're very nice couple, guys. So please uh, connect to uh, Sir Mercury. You just uh, leave the comment there in the latest video. He will get back to you guys. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sarap naman yan. Yes, uh, Mr. TV. Thank you so much. Yeah, sarap yan. 12 amazing people. Thank you so much. And Miguel, Miguel, shout out. 
Yes, good morning. Happy Palm Sunday, everyone. Um, here is only Saturday afternoon at 4.25 p.m. So, Palm Sunday will be tomorrow. Yes, in here. So, in the Philippines, I know everybody is busy church and attend the Mass for Palm Sunday Mass. Yeah, so enjoy and take good care, guys. <coughs> so, that's how I fry sweet potatoes. You have a uh, fry that slowly. You can fry the dip oil, but I don't want to do that. See? Can you see that? Uh, mostly, I use Crisco or the lard. Any lard, guys, it will, cut, will work. So, that's how I make sweet potatoes, fried sweet potatoes. Seven amazing people. Thank you so much. Thank you. You are kind. You're welcome. And thank you so much, uh, Sir Mercury Free Aqua. Yeah. Please um, drop your link so that uh, they can go and follow and they can connect with your to your channel. Yeah, thank you everyone. So it's not that much oil guys. Look at that. See, it's kind of the oil. I removed some oil but it's not that oily much. It's kind of watery. Can you see that? Because of the juice from the sweet potatoes. Yeah, then after you cook later, you spread some uh, white sugar, brown sugar, organic sugar. Or you can put some jam on top, or you can put some of butter if you want, or peanut butter. You can do like that too, like a bread. Yes, so this is what I did to my sweet potatoes. So what I did is I make more, and put that in the container, put in the fridge or freezer. I want to eat it. Uh, I just put the whole thing in the toaster, and toast it in the morning. You can do like that too. <laughs> it will be crunchy or if you have an oven you can put that in your oven yeah and how you will you you want to do it you can do it guys yeah it's up to you your way it's up to you which one is comfortable and easier for you to do the work or to do the cooking but for me this is how i make i give you a little idea so that you can go and, uh, what do you call that revise so we don't uh, sweet potatoes boil or do anything. If you have a little bit of uh, oil or lard, you can put, you can fry this. Uh, anyway, you can uh, use a butter if you you don't want cr crunchy. You can use a butter and put in here, guys. But I tell you, butter is easy to be burned in here. So lard and oil, so I mix uh, cooking oil, uh, canola oil and lard together. Yeah, Edmond Balsi adds thumbs up done. God bless as always. Thank you, thank you, Edmond Balsi. Thank you so much. Yeah, I cannot able to... Wait, let me see this if I can pin this up. Because, you know, guys... Ah, uh, yeah, I can pin up, guys. Yeah, because I don't want to touch this main... Uh, what do you call this? Uh, in here, in my main uh, uh, camera, in main uh, where I, I do the live. Because, you know why? Last yesterday, I just pressed the link. Oh, it will play, and I don't know how to go back where I where I am in my live. So I have to off it and do the live again. I just uh, I am coughing a little bit, guys, because I went outside and ran inside because I did not wear a proper clothes to go to the. Uh, garage and put some uh, woods there because it's cold so we don't want the garage will burn a uh, burn will freeze because we have lots of foods in there we have fridge and freezer in there so uh next week or this spring i don't have to uh put some wood in there because the weather is really good so we avoid the uh, the garage will be freezing so we need to put some wood in there in the stove so run out and in so that's why i cough a little bit and i start my live because before i get up i already set up my camera here and my ingredients in here the guy is love bisaya thumbs up says me love shout out to lahat from the guy is love bisaya yeah thank you so much this is the guy is love bisaya guys please connect to the guy is love bisaya all the way from singapore singapore but she's hong kong singapore yata and it's, she's very supportive friends too uh, thank you so much, mga supportive friends, to Jan, wherever you are. Yeah, please connect to each other. There is, uh, we have um, Mr. TV. 
she's doing the live too. Last night she's uh, doing the live. I didn't the comment. I do the comment. Stay longer, you know. So I know that she's uh, doing the live. So I do the uh, the BGB uh, while I'm uh, watching the movie. So that I said, okay, just uh, tuning in one before the TV. I will. Uh, you you're doing live last night, and we have Edmond Balsi. He needs more WH for, um, I think, uh, yeah, for his monetization. And we have Sir uh, Mercury all the way from Michigan, uh, USA. We have, oh, Kidney Warrior. Hello, Kidney Warrior. Good afternoon. Wow, Kalami Anna. Juby Adventure. Thank you, CC. Um, yeah, Kidney Warrior. Thank you so much. Uh, wake up where I am. Give you moderator kidney wire yeah just go to channel guys and make sure that you choose them their latest video watch it like and subscribe and uh, don't forget to leave a comment so that they will get back to you so or you for you feel uh, or feel free to drop your link so that they can connect to your channel I have all the supportive and good friends in here yeah so mr. TV from I think UAA. Where are you from, CC? And Lin TV, hello from Philippines. Lin TV from Philippines. The guys La Bisaya from Singapore. They are all very supportive, guys. Edmond Balsi from Philippines, very supportive too. Yeah, yan yung mga bongacious ko na mga friends dyan, guys. So, please connect to them. Yan, may puti kasi tayo dyan, guys. So, for amazing people, thank you so much. Happy Palm Sunday, everyone. Ayan. So, magluto tayo ng sweet potatoes. So, that's how I fried sweet potatoes. You see, there's a little bit of oily. Yes. <coughs> so, all we have to do to put in here, guys, we have a uh, towel to put in here. Ay, sorry. Uh -huh. So that will be like that. Yeah, not Philippines. I'm all, oh, you're from uh, OFW Japan, Lin TV. Oh, sorry, sorry, Lin TV. Oh. Ay, unga pala, iba pala yun. Si ano pala yun, si yung nag 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 She's all the way from Lin TV from Japan. Ayan. Kayo na bala dyan, guys. Nakakalimutan ko kasi kadami ba naman. Uh, sino ba yung isang may... Parang ganun din yung pangalan eh. Lin TV at saka parang ganun din pagkasulat. Pero hindi siya Lin TV eh. Kalimutan ko. Yeah, Kitty Warrior, thank you so much. Ayan, so maluto na yan siya, guys. Napakalakas yung ating apoy. So, ganyan na siya. O, diba? Uy, nasunog na. Saka kayawyaw ko dito. Ayan, ganun na siya, o. O, diba? O, diba? Ganun na. Mm. So, <coughs> yan. Ganun talaga, guys, pag naka-live kayo, hindi mapaperfect yan kasi nagyayawyaw kayo, nagtingin kayo sa mga kung saan-saan habang nagsasalita. Kaya ganun talaga yan, guys. Habang nagluluto, nagyayaw-yaw, double purpose ba? Eh, yan ang mga taong kailangan, ano, masipag, kailangan. Ang, ang masipag na tao, yun. Ganun talaga yan. Hindi yan nagtatrabaho ng isa-isa lang. O, ba diba, si si Lin TV, ayun, masipag din yan. Si Mr. TV, ayun, masipag din yan. Okay, si 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 Norminda din yun. Si din yun, nakaya number one yan. Ayan. Sista mo ako, guys, si Norminda si Lin yun. Marami pa tayo guys, marami pa tayong isiprito. Kasi kanina, uh, yung iba, nilagay ko siya sa, ano, nilagay ko siya sa um, freezer, ano ko niya siya, pinakuloan ko lang siya ng konti, yung blanch ang tawag siya. O nga, pag-ipag ka, mag-farmhouse, oo, sa buhay ka sa habang bata pa, oy, para pag kumanda tayo, hindi tayo nga nga sa gilid, or, ya, yeah, na wala tayong maipon, wala tayong magamit. 
alam nyo na, pag kumanda kayo, o di kaya pag uh, balang araw na hindi kayo makapagtrabaho, o di ba? At saka, maganda yung mayroon kang gagalawin habang pwede yung light. <coughs> Ganun yan talaga. Kailangan si Pagin may pagkakataon at saka mag-opportunity lang naman. Bakit? Why not? Diba? So, ganyan kami dito guys sa farm. So, kung ano-ano lang, actually, yung ginagawa namin, maintenance lang yan sa farm. Pero, syempre, uh, maraming gagawin. So, kailangan namin mag-work hard. Extra income, makakita kami ng extra income para din sa consumption namin. Mga ganun ba? Yan. Kasi, yung mga tao, yung kahit na mayaman ka, mag-work hard ka pa rin. May pera ka, mag-work hard ka pa rin. Kasi, hindi... Uh, ibig sabihin na mayaman ka na, may pera ka na, mag-stop ka na ng working. Kaya nga yung, yung mga yaman, si Elon Musk, ah, si Elon Musk, diba? Ah, si Warren Buffett, diba? Ang tanda-tanda na, sige pa rin. Kasi ang, ang, siya, ang tanda-tanda na, pero, yes, sweet potato, si Silen, si Big Pretty Warren, thank you so much. Yes, si Sinomenda, sweet potato. Tambay, Marcoy, sige, salamat, salamat. Ayan, nasunog na. Oo, si si. So, ang ginagawa ko, guys. <coughs> anyway, <laughs> yung sugar ko, nagbobo na dahil sa mix. So, ano lang yan. Kunting crush, crush lang yan. Ng, ng... So, makamayin ko na hawa. Ano, Mag-alala. Kasi ako lang naman kakain. So, ganun ako ginagawa. Pag hindi ka makakaramilize ng ano, ng ng sugar, uh, ng sugar. So, ganun lang siya, guys. Yan. So, ganun lang siya. I-dip-dip lang siya. Masarap siya, guys. Try nyo. Hindi siya oily. Ha? Yan, diba? Mm. Ang sarap siya. Kaya, kunting sugar. Kung gusto nyo soft, pwede din, guys. Kung gusto nyo butter, ah, uh, I mean, um, ano pag tawag yan? Kung gusto niya ng um, peanut butter, okay din guys. Masarap din siya. Basta sweet potato. Kasi naka, di ba, nakakasawa palaging yung laga, palaging ba, uh, uh, kamote kiyo. Di ba ganon? So, ganito nyo rin kung minsan. Tapos, gagawa pa tayo mamaya ng caramelized natin. Yung parang barbecue ba siya? Yung parang, bar bar parang ano siya? Parang kamote kiyo. Yan. Pero, less na siya na ng oil. So, tingnan mo. Wala masyadong oil. So, mamaya, magdagdag lang tayo ng kunting-kunting oil. One tablespoon lang siya na oil. Maluluto na yan. Basta yung apoy natin, hindi lang masyadong ma marami. So, ganun yung technique ko, guys. Kaya, ano, kaya um, gagawin. Gagawin nyo rin yan. Kasi sweet potatoes, napaka-healthy yan eh. Pwede nyo rin siyang i-ano, <clears throat> Uh, gawin nyo siya instead ng mashed potato may mga pwede nyo rin siya as a instead ng mashed sweet potatoes i-bake, pwede rin nyo siyang i-bake pero wala siyang hindi siya masyadong masarap pag-bake and I trust you depends sa tao guys, depends sa ta sa akin kasi pag-bake hindi siya masyadong masarap kung gusto ko pa siyang ganito pan fry lang siya seven amazing people, thank you so much So, maraming idea. Ako kasi, kinikita from Lean TV, o oh, masarap yan, may sugar. O, oh, binigay lang yung yun, farm sa akin dito, pero paunti lang kaya summer babies. Walang problema yan. <coughs> Basta kahit na konti lang si si Lean TV, I appreciate nyo. At saka gawin natin, alagaan natin, kasi yung maliit na yan, lalaki din yan. At saka makakatulong yan. Either maliit o malaki, laking tulong yan sa atin. Diba? Kahit na may... Balik tayo dito sa story ng sweet potato ko. Ako kasi maano ako, ma-invento talaga ako kung anong gagawin ko. Yung ganito. So, ba diba, masarap siya. Yeah, masarap siya guys kasi malinamnam siya. Kasi yung oil at saka yung lard, ano, nilagay ko. Pero butter din. Pero sa pag sa butter naman, <coughs> maganda siya i-bake nyo. Para hindi siya masunog agad-agad. Yun. So, ganito lang siya. Makrunchy siya na... Yung parang alam nyo, nakatikim kayo ng ano, ng inihaw na sweet potatoes. Ganun yung lasa niya. Makrunchy. So, ganito lang. ba diba? 
Mm. Parang bananak yun. Yung uh, sa atin ba yung um yung ano ba yung kinatinatawag na uh, palmera na ano nga pagtawag siya? Pamaypay na saging. Parang ganito siya. Di ba? Saging na sarap-sarap. Yan. Parang ganito siya. Tapos i-dip mo siya sa sugar. Mm, di ba? Ang sarap siya guys. Ya, kung may kamuti kayo, yun ang gagawin nyo. Oo, hindi na po bibili ng mga gulay. Listening and watching host, thank you so much, uh, Sir Mercury, um, actual, free actual, yes, CCLM TV. Yeah, you don't need to buy, you can store your own, you can cook, you can, <clears throat> you know what? You can process some of your vegetables there. Uh, make it some pickles if you have asparagus make it pickles cucumbers make it pickles so that you don't need to buy and you can adjust the uh, the vinegar you don't have to to put um, what do you call this artificial what do you call that uh? um, citric acid because in the store we, we the pickles have that so make your own brine if you want you can ask me I have a, uh, the best brine um, yeah, you can make a pickles, like uh, your broccoli, no, no, cauliflower, beans, um, what else, ah, uh? uh, beets, you can mix it in pickles, Sisi. I just finished one jar, the last jars that I have, I just finished, I regret that I just, I did not make that uh, more. I just, uh, I just uh, make that last summer two jars, but this summer I already, uh, finished it. So, this coming, uh, I hope that I can make that again. So you can just make um, what you call pickles. So that you don't need it. Um, yeah, blend or grind it. And make some um, another brine to make a pickle relish. Yeah, um, pickle relish guys. <coughs> it's very easy lang naman. Yeah, it's just like the same as what you have the, um, the brine that you have from your pickles. Put that in the pot, add some uh, vinegar, uh, vinegar um, uh, what do you call that, ha? Mm, pictin, or if you don't have pictin, you can add some of your uh, sugar and uh, uh, starch. But pictin is good, good uh, guys, to put that there. Or, uh, or gelatin. Not much. <clears throat> so just like that. Yeah, thank you so much. I listen with my wife. I practice listening and translating uh, translating Tagalog in, in Kapampangan to help me learn. Good for you at Sir Mercury. Thank you so much. Yeah, ganun lang yan. Diba? Ganun lang yan. So ito, tawag sa amin. Tawag sa amin dito, Sir Mercury in Tagalog is kamote. Yan. Piniritong kamote. Hmm. Yeah, you can you can ask your wife. Yeah. Oh, diba? Oh, diba? Ganern. <laughs> I will teach you lots of work. <laughs> Some ilonggo I remember, but not much now. Been a long time. Okay, what kind of ilonggo do you want to learn from me? I'm I'm ilonggo. Okay, tell me. So, kamote potatoes ay sa amin ay piniritong kamote. Ganun yan. O, diba? Ang oil, the oil in our place is we call mantika. We, we add some more mantika. O, diba? Marami kayong matutunan para mapad... So that when you, whenever you visit Iloilo or Boraca, you can, you can learn that, you know? So I fried lots for, for me to eat some. Yeah, what else? Gamay lang na... Gamay lang na dumduman ko. O, diba? Ganun yung Iloilo. Na dumduman is na ala ala. Mm, gamay lang na dumduman ko. Gamay lang na balaan ko is what you call a li I learn a little bit. Oh, di ba? Ganon. I learn a little bit. Yeah. Learning and talking here. This is nice. I love to share what my idea, guys. But I don't know um, to follow my idea or whatever that. But I want to share it for those who are interested. You know, you know, you know, like that. Gamay lang na alaala ko. 
Yeah, you remember some. But, it's okay. Jutay lang na, na, na dumduman ko. Jutay. Yung gamay, gamay, or you can use gamay or jutay. O, oh, diba? Ang daming mo maalala. So, that you Boracay, you can learn that. But mostly, they can uh, speak Tagalog or English in there too. But of course, most of the people, <coughs> they can learn. <coughs> people are very fun. They, they really um, happy that uh, even foreigner or whoever you are from, if you learn uh, their own language, like mother tongue, like, uh, like, 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 I'm not very good in English. I'm not very good in English. But I can understand and I can speak some too. Yeah. So, like me, I'm happy that you learn uh, Ilongo even you are not from Iloilo. And I'm sure that your, your wife is not from Iloilo, I think. I'm not really sure. Uh, sir, um, Mercury is Sir uh, Dar and uh, Mangdara is from Iloilo. I live in Limeri. Latuan for three to six months a year for three years. Oh, yo, Limery is next to my school. Yeah, we always there in uh, next uh, somewhere in Iloilo, like maybe 30 to 40 minutes from Iloilo City. Yeah, we always have in Limery, we always have we always there when I was studying in university. We're always there to um, what do you call that to do our. Uh, adaptive barangay what you call that or uh, uh because i was i studying in a catholic school so limeri iloilo uh san pabayona balabaguharo san pabayona yeah we always there every twice a month i think yeah we we help the mother to uh, or to we help and to or to educate them or to teach them to, to clean their children, to look after children properly, not to just to do the marites or next to do the house. We give them food because they don't have food. Just like that, that's what we did. We help them to clean up the kids, feed the kids. We bring foods there. Yeah, hello, uh, farm girl Miguel, shout out from Ver Ver Villanueva. Sir Ver Villanueva, hello, Miguel, shout out and good morning. Happy Palm Sunday. Tina High School, she went to, um, Tina, I don't really know, uh, her wife was from Iloilo province, she passed away 2013, oh, sad to hear that, but, but it's okay, I'm happy that you find Mom Dara right now, yeah, she's very nice, yeah, I see you, I seen your video and I watch your video, Sir uh, Mercury, especially in your, uh, what do you call this, wedding anniversary, oh my goodness, yeah, I can remember my my that I'm alone, me myself and alone. When I uh, uh together with my uh, friends, with my husband, without family here in Canada, when I have when our wedding day, but it's okay, manage it. We understand what happened, and my family cannot come here. It's expensive, you know. So we did we did it just two of us. We are in legal age in way. Sir Ver, uh, Ver Villanueva, thank you so much. Let's fry sweet potatoes, Sir Ver Villanueva. So I fried sweet potatoes quite a bit and I put this in some in the freezer, guys. So that whenever I want, I just put in the toaster, put some sugar and for as a snack. Yeah, because mostly we eat some cookies, cake, whatever that. We getting more and more big. <laughs> big, huh? I say big, huh? So, we have to diet a little bit. When it's this uh, summer, guys, we have lots of work. So, we slim down a little bit again. And there's lots of food anyway during summer because lots of Filipino friends um, come here and visit us, especially weekend. Brought some food. We cook. Oh my goodness, non-stop eating, non-stop uh, party, but we love it. So during the winter, we just uh, eat, sleep, no, uh, sleep, wake up, eat, uh, cook, eat, then after that, repeat again the same day and day. Oh, I got our eggs. That's the, my main job. 
or if the weather is uh, good outside I can do my some of my job that I need to or I want to do so you know if you are living in a farm you see it's really crunchy now I use the lard and the cooking oil thank you everyone for amazing people server a very her family were lawyers and I work in the city hall we were at the Nagyang Festival. It was wonderful. Oh, yeah. The Nagyang Festival, end of January to first week of February. It's over. And it's very, very fun. Really. It's really very fun. So, I joined the Nagyang University before, guys. Uh, there's no uh, jeepney or transportation from... Because I, I, I'm going home in Gimaras. From Haro... Haro Ilo, uh, Iloilo City to the port of, uh, of uh, Iloilo. I walked there maybe 45 minutes with my uniform. Uh, our high heel must be 2 inches only. So we need to walk that because to <clears throat> sometimes I bring I need to go home to Gimaras so I'm, I'm catching my time so I have to walk and yeah of course there's a distractions because there's a dinagyang parade, there's kind of um, music, dancing, you know that. But it's okay, carry on. So while I'm walking, I'm enjoying the parade too. I'm joining the parade, I mean. But they don't know that I'm going home. <laughs> I'm go. I'm heading to the port to uh, catch the uh, pump boat. We call that pump boat. Uh huh. Yeah, it's nice. In Iloilo, it's really nice, guys. It's very fun, very nice to live in there. I don't know some other country, but I'm from Iloilo. Gimaras Islands is nice. I visited and ate Talaba on the beach. Oh, yes. Remembering... Wait, uh, remembering now, family live near Pabia and on Onka Station in suburbs. Yes, Pabia is... Um, is, a, is is uh, what you call that? It's a big city, I think, and there's lots of new houses in there already. Subdivisions. Yes. In Gimaras, there's lots of Talaba, but the best Talaba is in Iloilo, I think. In Haro, somewhere in Haro. Because when we go to a restaurant in Haro, my family all order that Talaba. But in Gimaras, we have lots of Talaba, and it's clean, guys. Yeah, Gimaras is, um, what you call, uh, Paradise Island. That's why the property the property there right now is very expensive because most of the uh, uh, foreign and uh, they, they have their their beaches there. Uh, what else that um as I can say only beach beaches or cottages or hotels. Yeah, that's not I I don't know what happened right now in Gimaras. Capiz and Putu, uh, Pututan had good seafood. Yes, Capiz, you are right. Oh, yeah, you know, uh, you remember, you remember better than me, Sir Mercury. Yeah, I will. I don't know because it's not all about seafood. I don't know how he gonna take it because mostly there's no, uh, there is a beef there, but he always eat beef. So, and beef meat there is so expensive and I don't know how. Maybe I ask my, my mother now to to raise so that when we go home, I can ask the, my my family to slaughter for farm boss. Because I know that he he cannot live with fish. I cook fish here, guys, just one meal a, a day. Like, for example, I cook salmon. My goodness, just one meal. After the leftover, he doesn't want to eat that. Just once in a blue moon. Yeah, but of course he needs to eat salmon or he needs to eat fish. Capiz in, uh, okay, Capiz is Aswang Capiz. Oh, no, no. Um, it's not Capiz. Capiz, Capiz is the next only of uh, Aswang Capital. Um, uh, where's Anata? The other one is Capiz and Dumangas is the number one, the capital one. The second only is Capiz. As I know, as uh, I learned from my, but I don't know right now because they said you are from Dumangas. It means that is the, that's what I hear, uh, but never proven. And I never see Aswang and I never hear Aswang anyway. <laughs> but 
it's all a story and they said um kapis there's an aswang antiki ga uh, aswang to and dumag dumangas also is the dangerous people there and dumangas dumangas is aswang but for me i don't know i don't believe that but i hear that only so i just share with you my idea and what i i i learned but i don't believe if there is aswang or not <laughs> i don't know about that but i don't believe it is there is aswang <laughs> even even whoever is good people can do the witchcraft anyway yeah dumangas talaga lol <laughs> i also live in the little with the family oh yeah um very beautiful and uh i have some friends here from kalino you know yeah kalino dumangas or yeah they're from there uh our neighbor here judy is from uh i don't know cannot remember my sister live in antiki um uh, but they are not there anymore yeah people thank you so much yeah uh, do you do you believe in us one <laughs> okay let me know if you believe because i don't believe there is as one that's only a story i don't know i don't know if i believe because you know why i never i can hear some some of their talking or or whatever that but they said if uh, the sign like that is aswang but i never victim of aswang i never see them eating people or eating raw food i believe they believe <laughs> yeah you are right <laughs> you believe what they believe yeah may, maybe like that that's a fair answer yeah, but you know, even you don't believe or not believe, if people will tell tell you this, you have to be careful. Yeah, you have to be careful. And uh, wherever we are, if they are bad or good people, we must be careful wherever we are to them because they are not nice to them. If, they, if you are not nice to them, if you are good to them, they are good to you too. That's uh, that's how how uh, that's I prove to uh, to all the people in the world. Yeah, I've been so many countries, so that's how you... If you treat them good, they will treat you good too. But if you are not good to them, they are not good too. That's uh, that's the only thing I can... Um, uh, I can prove to everybody. Yeah, but there's a people that you are not good to them, but they are not good to them. But it's up to them if uh, they do that to you. And makukulam i think was village spirit doctor i'm not sure yes i'm not really sure makukulam i i believe if i never do the uh nobody make me kulam so i don't know miguel shout out host from ati evelyn samilano ati evelyn and jenna we are we have the visitor there sir mercury T three actual all the way from michigan usa tama love respect you will have love and respect yes that's right yes that's right love and respect if you don't have love no respect if you don't have no respect no love so must put together that two must uh, be together all the time yeah i'm sure uh, sir mercury is really good that's why uh uh you know people are good to him too yeah we have lots of foreigner in gimaras too in ilo ilo and they are nice yeah as long as you are good to them they good to you yeah even in here in canada guys wherever we are if people you are if you are good to them they treat you good too but if you're not good you uh they are not good to you too you see we're frying the egg <laughs> sweet potato here or you know what guys you can cut the the center here and you can put the egg here too like uh uh tomatoes or sweet uh, or potatoes one yeah and it tastes really good so see i i I, make, I will make lots and i put some in the freezer because i don't want to keep on cooking like this and of course i buy sweet potatoes only once or twice a month so uh i need to cook my sweet potatoes like this i don't like the sweet potatoes stay longer in my fridge 
taste is not that good so it's better to cook in the and uh, keep in your freezer so that whenever you want just put that in your toaster or small oven oven toaster or small there's a small oven that we have we can say boiler yeah so we heat it it will be crunchy even not so crunchy sweet potato is not good i'm sorry 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 do you know do you know that uh sir mercury bilay mo sorry that's a, that is an expression guys ha yeah lindsay b oo oh, oh, libangan lang niya ilang ng yt bow yummy thank you thank you kung mi ayuda fine kung mi ayuda fine yes that's right ayaw ko sa fb sa yt na lang ako yes sin uh, sika lindsay b yes that's right thank you ay ganun din ako sa slim tv ayoko ah uh, yeah dara and i were in a clan for for a bit before we had more full times in boracay everyone treated us so great sizzling food i can't hear well sorry <laughs> sorry yeah that's good yeah it's in a in a clan actually i never been to boracay i went to a clan we just passed by somewhere in Boracay because we talk. Uh, um, when I go home before, we talk. Uh, I like. Uh, I like in the Ruru, you know, like uh, take the bus from Manila to because two ship guys. So we just passed by in Boracay, but the Boracay is an island. So we just if you want to go to Boracay, you need to take a boat or ferry. I don't know what's right now because before it's a boat. It's a pump boat to go there. Now I think it's a ferry or there's a special trip in there. So I never been to Boracay anyway. And if you go to Boracay, of course it's expensive in there. That time I don't have money. I still have to help my family. So I said later on. So you know. And uh, when I go home, I only like a few uh, a few weeks like that only. You see that? So that's what I did. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, three amazing people for tuning in. Ayan. Alright. So, it's just like nice. Look at this. See, I'm still eating this. It's good with sugar. Salt also is okay, but, you know, I like sugar. Not much sugar with that. You know, just a little bit only. Sorry for the diabetes person. But I think sweet potatoes is good for the person who got, who have diabetes. So when you fry this, guys, you don't need to or boil this. You don't need to put sugar. I don't know. I'm not really sure if uh, sweet potatoes is good for diabetes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And the sweet, the sweet potatoes here, guys, is kind of uh, pricey. One piece of sweet potatoes is already two dollars because the pounds here is around two ninety to seventy something, depends on the variety. So I bought five pieces. So this is how I make. I fried right now, and the rest I planted. I cut the the head of my sweet potatoes, and I cut it. I don't know if it's growing or not. Treated or not. But I keep on trying that I can just have my sweet potatoes. We love spot sweet potato top salad. Yeah. So that's why I keep on planting sweet potatoes even it's not working uh, the it, it, even though that there's no sweet potatoes uh, roots or what do you call that? Uh, just, uh, just to have a sweet potato tops. Thank you everyone. Ayan. I stayed in Antiki for three weeks with family, grilled tuna and pussies on beach, drunk red horse and watched the sunset almost every night. Beautiful memories, yes. That's really good there and there guys. Uh, in there, um, Sir Mercury. Antiki is a very beautiful place too. Yes. If you have, uh, we used to do that when we are young. 
after our dinner around 5.30 or 6 o'clock, we go up with the mountain with my sister or with my brother. We have a plan, you know, when we go up, we have to talk. And we just pick up, after we have dinner, ha, we pick up some or we harvest some uh, guava and sit down and eat there. Or sometimes we brought some dessert or just put there and sit down and talk until dark tomorrow we cannot able to do that just like weekend or summer but now it's really different we did we barely see each other because everybody's busy you know we have our own life they're married looking their kids and i'm far away from them right now so it's been long time yeah thank you so much uh, Sir Ver, Ver, thank you so much. Guys, please connect to each other, guys. Just go to channel. Yeah, thank you, thank you, everyone. Yeah, so the only thing for sweet potatoes when you're frying like this, you have to uh, turn over or you have to leaf over. What do you call that? Baligtarin mo. Balis karon. Yeah, <laughs> every time, baligtarin mo. Galawin ba? Oh, ganun siya, oo. Oh. Diba? Baliktad. Or, ano ba yung tawag dyan? Flip over, turn over. Yeah. Supposed to be, this is it. This is the the thing that I, I I want to slice. But this one is good for breakfast and uh, put some uh, um, sugar. But since that I want to make, um, what do you call this? A caramelized sugar later, so I slice this thick. Uh, kamote Q. But this is better than kamote Q because less oil only. Look at that. I think since uh, all of this is only three tablespoon I'm using for since I started uh, fried some of that in this one here. Yeah, it still have lots of uh, yeah or less than three because if this is not really this is small um. Just a scoop like that, eh? So, this is less than uh, a tablespoon. Yeah, thank you everyone for amazing people. Thank you so much. Please connect to Edmund Balsi, uh, Sir Mercury Tree Actual. We have uh, Lynn TV there. We have Kidney Warrior. We have Ate Evelyn Samilano. Oo, libangan lang ang YT. Okay. Uh, okay, what else? Sisi uh? uh, Milda Ingram, just go to channel Juvie Adventures, the guys La Bisaya, Verbal Yanueva. We have uh, who else in here? No, I the video yon. So, feel free that you leave a comment so that they will they can read your comment and they can go as a uh, uh, subscribe you back so thank you everyone so this is just a short live after this frying I'm going off soon too I don't want to do the live uh, very long and just like a uh, no you know? I don't do it too long my throat is painful Mga manusblit tayo sa English. Diba? Ah. Ganyan lang. Gan ganyan lang ang buhay. O, oh, diba? Yeah, thank you, everyone. Pampanga province. Her family had sugar cane farm in province. Wow. Dugo sa ilong mo. Oo, dudugo ang ilong mo. Madugo ang ilong mo pag uh, maubos yung English mo. Ganyan, ganun ba? Pag foreigner or pag mag-English. Uh, uh, thing guys, because Farmboss want me to speak English. Because he said, 
uh, Filipino can understand, can speak English, why like us, if you talk Tagalog, we, can, we you speak Tagalog, we cannot uh, able to understand you. So we don't like that. So that's why, even that I, I'm not really very good in English, I'm not very good in English, guys. I'm not fluent. I try my best. Yeah, that's right. To fair for everybody. That tell me that I'm not really very good English. I'm Filipina. Why I have to speak English? But uh, it's up to them. I don't care about that. At least I, at least I try. That's what I can say. This is my life. If do, they don't want to listen to me, they hate me. It's the problem. <laughs> Just like that, eh? No? Just like that, eh? The go sa ilong mo, sa tawa tawa, oh oh, tawa tawa tawa, tawa tawa. Or you home, you home. You home, you home is just you are smiling. But tawa tawa is talagang talagang ano tumatawa o talagang um, laughing. Or there's another word is you uh, home, you home. Halakhak, halakhak is already uh, funny laughing, guys. So, halakhak. O, oh, diba? Marami kayo matutunan pag English. Pag gusto nyo matuto. Five amazing people. Thank you so much. Please consider to subscribe from Girl Canada. And, uh, please uh, like this live. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And make a shout out wherever you are from. From Asia, Europe, America, North America, Alaska, or wherever you are from. Right now, make a shout out and good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Yeah, I'm making breakfast, snacks, or even a meal. So this is complete food already. Sweet potatoes is a heavy food. Some other people, they, this is their full meal as their lunch, dinner, or breakfast. For us, as an Ilonggo, this is our snacks or delicacies or snacks. Snacks is mean like middle of the meal, uh, main uh, meal like after breakfast or between breakfast and lunch that is snacks or we have snacks between dinner uh, between lunch and dinner yeah so this is our snacks but it's okay as long as you are you are still full you don't have to eat and if as long as there's a food go and eat because in heaven there's no food anymore Am I right? And I don't know, maybe there's a food there, but maybe it's not like uh, right now. It's different in there. And that's we need. Yes, merienda. Merienda. Yeah, merienda tayo, di ba? Uh, am I right, uh, Sir uh, Mercury? In the Philippines, always eating food, always do the merienda, right? Ah. They will always said. Even my husband said always told me if I prepare the food or like for example we have a breakfast at nine and we have lunch at twelve between twelve and one. Ha! Let's eat again. It's eating time again. I said we did not have um a snacks in here in the Philippines after breakfast after thirty minutes or one hour we have snacks, but here we already eat late late and no uh oh 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 or who oh. <laughs> oh, ganon di ba? Do you do you like piyaya, uh, sir? Uh, sir, uh, Mercury, piyaya in Iloilo or piyaya in bongbongs, uh, bongbongs, pasalubong I think is or yeah, I really love that mm, piyaya. I really. I really love that. I make in here, but I was thinking to make piyaya. But this one here, guys, I can mash this and put inside my piyaya. And it smells so good. The, when you cook like this, instead of uh, boiling in and mash it, uh, right, right, right. Tap. Then, uh, like this kind of fry, you mash it and uh, put inside your piyaya. It's really good. I will try that next time. I will, I will uh, show you how I make the piyaya because I know how to make piyaya just for eating not for selling guys you know because I'm not very good in forming piyaya yeah I'm always do the oh my goodness 
I'm always do some uh, 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 invention or ano ba ito? Um, oh, I, I, not in my mind anymore. Uh, I always make uh, food like my own recipe, invention, my own invention or invented. Like I, I invent, I make my bahay kubo outside. Oh my goodness, it's just in my mind. I never seen that they are doing that. So I just in my mind that is my bahay kubo. I build that in some of my video. Do you, Roy, uh, Domeo brother, do you eat beer meat? Um, I never uh, eat beer meat, Roy Domero. Uh, and, and three in one. Oh, sorry, I'm not familiar with that. Yeah. Uh, beer meat. Uh, I don't know about that. We never, I never eat that before. I never try. And I never, we never catch beer. And... We have a beer in Canada, but uh, so far we did not meet it in person. And what else? Uh, in the mountain in Canada, there is lots of beer. I can see beer only in a picture, but there's no uh, beer meat selling in the store. So I don't know. I don't have idea and I never eat that kind of meat uh, at uh, Roy De Mayo's Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, thank you. Eight amazing people. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah. So I have. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Feel free to connect each other and subscribe. Uh. Uh. My channel for those who are new there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And thank you for supporting Farmer Canada YouTube channel. Just for fun, guys. It's good to have uh, lots of friends and subscribers here so that we can share our idea. Uh, like this, I share with you your, my idea and maybe you have some nicer idea. Idea You can make it, uh, you can revise it. Yeah. This is my revision, my, my uh, yeah, revision in making a uh, sweet potatoes. Q. Ano ba yung tawag? Basta sweet potato Q. Kamote Q. Yeah. So this is my own version. I don't know some uh, some other what they are going to do. I don't know. I never see people frying the sweet potatoes like this. <laughs> Only me. <laughs> yeah. Because one thing why I do this guys. I tell you the truth. I don't like. I want sweet potatoes in here. But. And, um, fry the, uh, having a deep fry in the house because of the oil inside the house I don't like that smell so usually when I fried sweet potato banana to make a banana cue and uh, kamote cue I fried it outside also uh, dried fish or fried fish or whatever that I need to do the deep fry I do it outside I don't want to do it inside here even I cook garlic outside too so Instead of frying with the deep oil, so I just put a little bit of oil just like that. So that's my invention. My my invention. This is not new invention because I've been uh, doing this for three years already, guys. Yeah. So I just fried like this slowly. It takes time, time consuming, but it's satisfying food anyway. Yeah, that's what I am I sharing. I said to my husband that I was fried for my sweet potatoes will go to the chicken or go to the garbage so I fry my sweet potatoes and this sweet potatoes is not cheap in here in the Philippines this kind of sweet potatoes like uh, there's a little bit of go uh, goes to the pig food or whatever that in here I need to say because one sweet potatoes uh, one pound is around two dollars ninety cents something like that nine seventy four eighty four right now more than two dollars per pound so we don't waste that and sometimes there is a sweet potatoes here or in short in superstore sometimes there's no sweet potatoes they, there is big sweet potatoes but I don't like that kind of sweet potatoes the color is a kind of orange or brown whatever that so I choose the sweet potatoes this is Japanese sweet, sweet potatoes so sometimes there's no Japanese sweet potatoes so I don't buy any sweet potatoes 
Yeah, Japanese sweet potatoes is really good. Uh, also, carne is bear meat in Tagalog. I think uh, when I was young, I hunted and ate beer bear in Michigan. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, mahal na. Oh, oh, mahal na, mahal na ang tanan or mahal na ang lahat. Kaya magtipid, di ba? Uh, di ba, Sir Mercury? Kaya magtipid-tipid gamay ba? Ganun. Ganun. Yan. Ang dami. There's lots of uh, poor people that they cannot able to eat. Even sweet potatoes, they don't have. Able to afford anything or they have sweet potatoes. Just eat sweet, sweet potatoes three times a day or the whole year, the whole month. You know? That's how it is. So, we have to save food. Yeah, even though that, uh, yeah, was, we can afford. I know everybody can afford. There's lots of money, but you know what? It's good to take because, of course, everything is expensive. Yeah. Pocket is getting, uh, uh, pocket is getting deep and deep, but empty inside. And your your wallet will be butas butas. <laughs> oh, oh, mahal. <laughs> oh, oh, mahal. Na. Oh, di ba? So, did you enjoy, sir, uh, Mercury? Did you enjoy living in Ilo Ilo before? Oh, di ba? Ganon lang siya, guys. Di ba? Oh. Yeah, so, do you, and do you like Ilo Ilo? Um, Pampanga also is so nice uh, a place, that, guys. I never been there. This Pampanga is very nice place. Yeah, I have this uh, property before that they they supposed me to put me in Pampanga, but I said I know I don't know anybody in there, so I just choose Cavite, uh, Pampanga and Laguna. Then I said I don't want in there because I don't know anything so I just have my uh, one month to think about that first because the I want uh, I want to buy ever since I want to buy um, property in the city so that it's easy you know when you're working and you have uh, you can buy the properties so choose Kaviti it's not so, so uh, because my uncle is in Kaviti too anyway this small one here so I add a little bit of oil again just to you see a little bit only guys like one uh, yeah you can you can uh, you can uh, you can have your lawai lawai there you can have your drooling your saliva with my sweet potatoes oh diba lucky oh big slice yeah, thank you everyone. Seven amazing people. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you and I appreciate your Thank you so much. Give a shout out and good morning, good afternoon. Yeah, thank you so much. Later I will put this in a big flap so that I can put in the container. And uh, and put it in the freezer so that whenever I want, I just want to reheat it. Especially when I'm busy at outside, guys, and I need some snack. Yeah, this is really good. So I just make sometimes a cara. Um, also, I don't need to be froth sometimes. This I just caramelize the sugar and put that in the sugar, and I can bring it outside. Whenever I am hungry, because sometimes when we are doing the work outside, for example, work at 1 o'clock, we go home at um, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, we go inside around uh, 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock. It depends how long we're going to stay there. We bring some water, we bring some snacks. Anyway, we have lots of snacks, fruit outside, so we don't need to be hungry as much. No, whenever we want to go inside that's it but sometimes if you work hard you need really some carbs to eat so I just brought some uh, snacks to put in the porch so that I don't need to go inside the house and grab some uh, snacks because when I work in the, the what do you call this 
in the yard, just continue working. I don't want to start my work, stop again, and do it again later. So I want to finish it like, for example, when you are uh, weeding some, some of your uh, garden. You need to read it finish. One garden. We have how many gardens? One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, sorry. So we have six. It is, it is, and it is big, guys. So lots of weeding and lots of uh, planting, hailing. Like we need to hail the sweet potatoes or the, pot the potatoes. Or we need to hail the corn. We need to weed the strawberry patch. Special. We have pickers. Oh my goodness, there's lots of books. That's why I cook a lot. I love uh, Panay Island and Iloilo Province. Maganda. I live in Bahay Kubo on ice farm. On rice, fa on rice farm. Raise chicken and go. Manuka at kambing. Manuka at kambing. Beautiful life. Easy and peaceful. Yes, that's right. Uh, my parents, that's how our... Uh, Way of living in Philippines with Bahay Kubo, a small house. Um, uh, of course, but now uh, my parents' house is concrete now. But we have a Bahay Kubo around to have a rest house. Yeah, we always eat there because it's too hot in the Philippines, right? So, yeah, we have until now we have the uh, goat, we have uh, we don't have the cow anymore because nobody will look up that. We have carabao. We have farm anyway, but my brother will look after that and my sister. And we still have chicken. And whenever you want to eat chicken, you just catch chicken and slaughter it and cook it. Yes, that's how we gotta do that. And uh, yeah, also the kambing, uh, also the kambing or the goat. Also the pig, whenever you want to, if you have a pig and if you feel like having lechon, just uh, catch louder and cook the lechon Here, uh, there in uh, in Philippines. Yeah, slaughtering a pig is just like we are slaughtering chicken. Whenever we want, if uh, my mother or mama or my sister have pig, we just go and slaughter it and clean it up and roast it. So that's our lifestyle in uh, in Gimaras. Yeah, there's lots of fruits, mangoes, cashew, cashew, uh, we call that duhat, or there's another call for duhat, eh? Like a blackberries. We have star apple, or the star apple, or the, what do you call the star apple? I think star apple, eh? And, but there's no star in that apple. It's, it's we call that, it's the star apple, but I didn't see star in that apple. I don't know why they call that star apple. So, but uh, I just tell you the, um, that name is star apple. And what else? Uh, bananas, maize, oh, diba? <laughs> you know, Mercury? Yeah. We had electricity and from. Hello, everyone. Why I cannot uh, hear it? Hello everyone! Ayan! Can you hear me now? Welcome back. I think I'm back guys. So I feel I think I can continue my live. Thank you, amazing people. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you.
Yeah, thank you everyone. Three amazing people. Thank you so much. So we just uh, have uh, finished this, guys. I think uh, I think I'm doing good here. I think I'm back. Yeah, thank you everyone. Three amazing people. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm back here, guys. So that's the life in Guimaras, guys. That's our life in the Philippines. So yes, that's right. Uh, who is this? We need to build the house.